Have you ever felt something that just seemed impossible to do? Hi, I'm Chris Freeman, the Closer Clients One, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing how to achieve the impossible. Now, there's a lot of advice out there on how to succeed, but not too much focuses on how to achieve what's seemingly impossible. And the question you, a lot of people would probably ask is, why are you trying to achieve the possible? Don't set targets that you can't achieve. And for me, there's, it, that kind of advice is just kind of too simple. And I want to just quickly help you to establish the reasoning for why you want to achieve the seemingly impossible. Because the reasoning is this, is that if you're aiming for something where you know exactly what you need to do or have say, I don't know, more than, you have a very good idea of what needs to be done in detail and how to achieve it, you're not aiming high enough. You're not challenging, you're not challenging yourself enough and you're not going to grow because that's too easy a challenge. The only time when you know you're setting a goal that's worthy enough to help you grow as, say, an entrepreneur or whatever it is you're working on, or to be even more successful and to grow as yourself and a human being is when you set something so high that you don't know how to do it. You don't really know where to start. I'm not asking you to aim for the stars, okay? Unless you're literally aiming for the stars, okay? You might be one of those people working at, not Tesla, SpaceX, aiming for Mars. But if that's the case, then I'm not going to stop you. But in short, what I'm saying is that you should be aiming it just beyond your reach, okay? Not so far that it's at the other end of the planet, but so that it's just beyond your reach and you don't know what to do. You don't know where to start. And that's when you know you're aiming higher. But going back to how to achieve the impossible, some of the advice you may have heard before, but I can promise you this much, at least one of them you would not have heard before. And the first thing I want to cover is that you need to find someone who can help you achieve it, okay? Because the definition of impossible, or I believe one of the definitions, is something that can't be achieved. Now, that doesn't come from any viewpoint. It doesn't say is that something no one can achieve. That's not the definition of impossible in any shape or form. It's just something that cannot be achieved. And the key word here is actually missing. It doesn't say from a viewpoint. So impossible could be something that you can't see yourself achieving, but someone else has or is willing to someone else who has already accomplished what you think is impossible. So the best place to go would be to go to that person who has achieved it or very close to it and to hire them. Or if you can't find someone who's achieved it, then Find and gather a group of people who are willing to go through with you, okay? When Elon Musk first started Tesla, okay, he didn't really know where to go. So we hired people who have already had some success. Hired people who are already doing the seemingly impossible with electric vehicles. Same with rockets as well. He searched high and wide for people to help him develop more fuel efficient rockets to help him to develop the technology needed to create rockets that would land right back. And to be honest, no one had achieved that before. And I want to ask, I want you to ask yourself, when was the last time when you achieved the seemingly impossible? Something that you say a year or two before you even tried it, you thought, nah, I can't do that. Like, Maybe you're an athlete, okay? You're running the 100 meters and your record was 13 seconds. You didn't believe that you could, you could do it in under, you could run 100 meters in less than, say, 11 seconds, but within five years you were able to. You just assumed a seemingly impossible because a couple of years ago it was impossible for you. But you went to an athletics track, you went to a sprint coach and they helped you achieve it because they've been there and they've either been there themselves or they've helped to train people to get to that level. The next thing you need to do is that you need to obviously take action. And you can ask yourself, 
what kind of action do I need to take? Because just taking action is just too general. One of the specific examples I'm going to provide is something I use every day, and that is to always be reading impossible stories. Impossible stories such as there was a Colombian Olympian, I believe he was a powerlifter, and he'd attended two previous Olympics and he didn't manage to get gold in them. And he was even accused of just being kind of like a joker, someone who didn't really care about the Olympics. Because the very, the very first one he achieved is that he didn't really do that well. I believe it's his first or his second. And what they discovered is that his coach was pushing him too hard and he had some kind of disc, I believe some kind of disc problem in his spine. And that meant that he could not power lift at all. And there were other complications. For example, if he got the operation, then there was a very small chance that he would not be able to get back into that sport. But what did he do? He signed up for the operation immediately and started training within a couple of hours after his operation. And he went like crazy for the third Olympics and he won. That is pretty much impossible. And it's those kind of stories where you train your mind consistently to believe that the impossible is achievable. Because we human beings, we're very social creatures. We like to fit in to areas, okay? We like to fit in to specific groups or specific areas of society. And when you're trying to achieve the impossible, you want to surround yourself in your mind and around you with people who are doing the impossible, impossible to them or to you. It does not matter. What really matters is that you're training your mind that anything is possible. And when you truly believe that, when all you put in your mind is stories and examples of the impossible being achieved, you're more likely to believe in it. Your your motivational tank is going to be so much higher when you're training it. You're not your motivational tank, but what I call the impossible muscle, the muscle that believes and continuously helps you to push forward every single moment, every single day is being trained. That's how you train your impossible muscle. In addition to obviously taking the correct actions by building the team to help you achieve what it is that you want to achieve. Okay. No matter how out of this world that it seems. So to quickly recap, what do you need to do to achieve the impossible? Well, number one, you need to hire someone who is going to help you get there and has either done it or helps people to get there. Number two is that you need to create or to build your own team. Okay, whether it's volunteers or people you're going to pay, staff members, outsource it. You can't do this alone. No one who has ever achieved the impossible has ever done it alone. And don't give me the excuse that you don't have enough money. If you truly care about something, no matter how difficult it is, you're going to find a way. Money, yeah, you might have some trouble initially, but you'll get there eventually. You just need to find a way. The third one is that you need to be reading up on impossible stories, okay? You can just easily Google it or just look at your fa- your favorite stars, the people you idolize. Look at their impossible stories. Continuously keep on reading. And it's okay to just read one a day, okay? Maybe you want to increase it to one in the morning, one at night, okay? But just read one a day. And I promise you, you will see a dramatic difference in your ability to achieve things that are seemingly impossible and your mindset as well. That's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, let me know. Subscribe or like the video and let me know what else do you want to see. Is it something about this video that you feel you want to know more about? Or maybe it's a completely different topic. Just let me know. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next video.